a very warm and happy Vijaya Dashmi to all of you. Today is Vijaya Dashmi. Vijay, victory. Today is the day of victory. We know today is the day of victory of Ram over Ravana. Today is the day of victory of Durga over the demons. The goodness has prevailed. And therefore, today is the day of celebration, of joy, of happiness, of new hope, of new beginnings. Only when the Ravan Samhar has happened that the Punaruthan can begin. So that this victory of goodness over evil can come in everybody's life. Today is Vijaya Dashmi. And in addition to the tradition of Ravan Dahan, there is a very important tradition which is held on the day of Vijaya Dashmi. And that is the tradition of Simul Langhan. Sima, boundary, Ullangan, crossing over. And for the yogic minded people, this is a very important moment. For last nine days, we have been preparing ourselves with the Navratri sadhana. And we have sharpened our tools, our weapons. These weapons need to be worshipped today so that the divine energy comes in. And then the Shastra Puja, worship of the weapons, take place. And after the worship of the weapons has taken place, then we set out marching against the enemies. For a yogic minded person, what are the enemies? The enemies are not out there. The enemies are in here. The weapons are not out there. The weapons are also in here. The Ravana is not outside there. Ravana is in here. Mahishasura is not out there. Mahishasura is in here. And we have to use the yogic tools to defeat these demons. That is the real Simul Langhan, which we, yogic-minded people, have to do. What is Sima Ullangan? Sima Ullangan means going out of your comfort zone. We have formed a habit. We have formed a shell around ourselves in which we cocoon ourselves and we try to maintain the status quo. But status quo can never guarantee growth. For growth, you need to step out of your comfort zone. This is what is very important. I have set boundaries for myself. I have limited myself. No, I will break those limitations and progress further. That is the real Sima Ullangan. Sima Ullangan. That is what we have to do. The entire year, we have been learning principles of yoga as taught to us by Pujya Gurudev. Now is the time that we have to actually bring them into action. Because yoga is Perfection in action. It has to come into action. If it does not come into action, then it is all just theoretical armchair discussion. No. We have to bring it into our action and in our lives and then and then alone can the breakthrough take place. The potential of the breakthrough is there. The tools of the breakthrough are there. And for the last nine days, we have Worshipped Devi. She is the one who provides us with the strength. 
and she has blessed us. Now is the time that we need to take up arms against the demons. But when we fight, we don't fight in a pig-headed manner. We have a strategy, we have a planning and we work accordingly. In the same way, in this inner battle, we need to be very careful. Otherwise, it ends that we end up fighting ourselves. No. We have to be very clear how to do go about doing this. That is what yoga teaches us. And today on Vijaya Dashmi, I would like to throw open the Purnahoti celebrations of the year-long Satyam Shatabdi Yog Yag. The Purnahoti, as I have been mentioning earlier, is not just out there. The Purnahoti is in here. The real breakthrough has to take place in my life. And for that, I need to work with one-pointed focus. I cannot just do a little, do a little, do a little. No. It has to be one-pointed focus very concerted efforts. That is what yoga is. And to be able to bring in that change in our lives. Our lives are always beset with problems. Different types of problems. But they are always beset with problems. And we are like Abhimanyu in Chakra Vyuha that we are surrounded by the enemies and there is no way out. We need to break through the chakra vyuha and come out. And to be able to do that, I have started through the form of karma yoga activities. Various avenues by which we can start implementing these principles in our lives. The Satyam Shatabdi Yog Yag Purnahoti preparations are a means to an end. The end is the breakthrough in my life because that is the real culmination. And we need to prepare for it from now. The method is through Karma Yoga. We are not so proficient that we can sit close our eyes on and keep our mind focused on the nose tip or at the brumadhyaya or at the hrudaya kash or at the chidakash for hours on end. No. We are fooling ourselves if we say we can do that. Our mind keeps jumping from here to there. So what do we do? The way is out there. Sri Swamiji, Swami Satyananji had said once, he said this many times, he said that the same mind which will take us in deep meditation is the mind which does the work outside. If you train the mind outside, then there is no need to fight the mind inside. The mind spontaneously goes within and takes you deeper within. The way is through Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga is an excellent tool of training the mind. Because when we start undertaking activities, it is then that the mind starts reacting and trying to run here and there. It is then that we have to start learning how to manage the mind. When we are put into situations which are beyond our comfort zone, then we start struggling. But it is through this struggle that the growth takes place. That is what Satyam Shatabdi Yog Yag is all about. It is not just practicing few asanas and doing some pranayama. No. They are not sufficient to give us that breakthrough in life. If we want that breakthrough in life, this is the way. Reach out selflessly and 
you will connect within spontaneously. You don't have to make any effort. How do you reach out? You reach out with the spirit of karma yoga. Whatever you do, whatever you are assigned to do, you need to do with perfection. There are those principles and I need to apply them. And while I am applying them, I have to be aware of myself. I have been given a task. I have no idea about that task. If I am going about doing that task, what is the mind doing at that point of time? You were told, go to the kitchen and cook. And you have never been into the kitchen. Do you go in and start working? Or is the mind rebelling? You are an educated person and you have been given a menial task of wiping the floors. Are you focusing on doing the job at hand correctly, fast, accurately, in a perfect manner? Or is your mind playing tricks? Karma Yoga is a means for us to observe our mind. The task at hand is a mere tool. The end result is what is inside. You are learning to manage your mind. So, this is what is the real epitome of yoga because that is what brings yoga into action, into practice, into real life. You cannot sit on the yoga mat the whole day. But once you learn these principles, then you are able to implement them in your life the whole day. And then you can be in the state of yogic bliss 24-7. No matter what happens outside, it is not for nothing that it is said. There is no peace in the Himalayas. There is no noise in the fish market. It is all in the state of the mind. You can sit in the fish market and meditate. You can go to the Himalayas and still be agitated. It's in the mind that everything happens. We have to learn to manage the mind. That is the real victory. We speak of Vijaya Dashmi. We have spoken of the concepts that first three days of Navratri are for Tamas. Next three days are for Rajas. The last three are for Sattva. That first eight days are for the Apara Prakriti. The ninth day is for the Para Prakriti. And we transcend all of that and we connect with the Supreme Being. We transcend all of that. That is the ideal. But we are not there. The destination is far. How do you achieve the destination? To achieve the destination... We need to do Simul Langhan. Move out of your comfort zone and progress step by step. That is real Atma Samvarghan. That is what will bring the breakthrough in our lives. And today, on this day of Vijaya Dashmi, on behalf of Satyam Sumiran Yoga Research Foundation, I announce the opening of the Purnahuti celebrations through the practice of Karma Yoga. And everybody is welcome. Does not matter if a person has not been taking part in the various yoga practices. Makes no difference. You start here and you will see all the knowledge there starts coming in automatically. And for those of you who are interested, because there have been many people who have been saying. So therefore, our team at SSYRF, they have been working tirelessly all throughout Navratri. And we will also start one by one various yoga courses which we had done so that those people who have not been able to participate and would like to participate, they can take part in these activities. 
these process and these will be pre-recorded sessions so that you can do it at your convenience and at regular intervals you will need to interact with me so that there is a guided direction what is taking place the knowledge in one aspect the action in the other aspect jnana and karma they are the two wings and when both the wings clap together then the bird soars high if one wing does not flap only the other wing is flapping we just flap around and flop we don't soar high to soar high both the wings need to be reinforced and both need to move in coordination only then we can soar high that is the new beginning moving out of my comfort zone moving out of my limited self and working on myself my limitations step by step one by one one by one one by one this is how we will be making our offering to gurudev whose life has been an epitome a manifestation of yoga in action and that is the only real tribute that we can give to gurudev floral tributes the flowers come and they wither away in 24 48 one week maximum but this floral tribute of our actions will never wither away it will keep shedding the fragrance for all time together and that is the real fragrance which is expected so on the day of vijaya dashmi let us take this sankalpa to rise above our limited self and connect to the divine self and bring that change in our life hari om tat sat namo narayan